So today, it's Sunday morning. I'm in the home of Guy D. Martina, um, which Guy, hello, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. And I'd like to also introduce, um, and maybe, you know, starting with obviously the bass guitarist, um, can we have your name? Samuel Thornton. Sorry? Samuel Thornton. Samuel, welcome. And drums? Uh, Taylor Clifford. Hi, Taylor. And rhythm guitar? Stephen LeBon. How are you, Stephen? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Good I'm really excited you. talking to you guys. We are too. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're, we're, you know, obviously um, here to discuss today. Uh, a wonderful new debut album that you've all produced and um, and it's obviously under your title Find A Way mm -hmm. which I believe has been inspired by one of the songs that came from uh, yeah, Frog Song yeah. by Silverchair Silverchair, yeah. yeah, excellent which are one of your favourite bands yeah, yeah mm -hmm. And as well as Led Zeppelin and um, and Pearl Jam, I can see in the background here, which are part of your influences for the rock music that you're doing, which um, I must say, congratulations, because of, from what I've heard, it's a really amazing sound. And you guys are only, what, 15, 16 and yeah. it's incredible. You're, you know, emerging talent out of Brisbane and you are already making some amazing impressions on Spotify. And I'd like to hear a little bit more. So, Guy, let's start with you. How did, you know, basically, I want to know how you, you know, got attracted to guitar straight away. Okay. You know, what age were you and how did that happen? Um, so... It was really random. Uh, I was in the car with my mum on the way home from school. I was about seven yeah. or eight. And I said to mum, just out of nowhere, that I wanted to play guitar. And she said that if you put more effort into classroom music, then I could have some lessons. And yeah, I had some lessons. It was, it was really random, but they liked the same kind of music. I mean, there was always music playing. So it was yeah. probably that, all the music. And that's fantastic. Well, good on your mum. <laughs> and um, and so that grew for you to be, you know, practising, obviously, you know, every day. And, yeah. you know, how much do you practise? Because you're amazing at what you do. Um, yes. When I first started, I didn't play. I played a fair bit. And then after about a year or two in, I got my first electric guitar. And then I was playing as much as I could. I'd play in the morning, I'd go to school, I'd come back and I'd play more guitar. It's pretty much the only thing I did. Um, I still do a lot of guitar. Um, probably probably just a, not as much as I used to. Yeah. Um, but I still play every day, at least an hour every day, of just noodling and playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's, that's, I think, you know what, every artist always must do is practice 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 yeah. all the time so you know to just keep you know getting your skill set you know up so um now with with that you know obviously you guys are all it's you met all at primary school um at camp hill i believe and um and now you know what school are you at and the three of us are Moon Bay Boys College. Yeah, yeah. And Sam and 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 Yeah, so Sam and I met at primary school oh. and then I met these guys at um, secondary school. Yeah. At secondary school. school. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And how and how long has the band been together? How did that this come about? This this formation, the band's probably been about a year, year yeah, and a half. Year or so, yeah. yeah. A year and a half. Yeah. Much, okay. Yeah. All right. And, you know, and look, I'd like to sort of, you know, maybe start with you, Stephen. Rhythm guitar. Yeah. How long have you been playing now? I've played probably six years on and off. Six so, years? Yeah, I'd say four years more seriously. 
okay? Yeah. And is this, you know, your desire to obviously, you know, play, you know, in this band and yeah. also with the fact that, you know, you're, you've got obviously a love of guitar and music, mm. you know, is your desire to, you know, grow into this industry? Yeah, you know, as a, really nice, yeah. Yeah. It's good fun as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, and obviously Taylor, drums. Yes. Drums is one of my favourite because <laughs> I used to play. <laughs> but tell me, you know, how did you get attracted to drums? Um, well, I started on guitar, but there was always sort of like a feeling for drums. Yeah. So one day I hopped on one of the school drum sets and I could actually like play like a sort of like a groove. Yeah. where most people like kind of struggle at first yeah so i was talking to my parents they always thought they didn't want to spend the money um because they never thought i was going to practice so i got like this like just all random bits of drums put together and mm -hmm. i practiced on that and then eventually i got an actual drum kit for my birthday and just been playing since then excellent yeah that's and how long was when was that uh three four years three four years ago yeah. okay Superb. And Sam, yeah. bass. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a bass man. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me your, your story. How did uh, bass come into your life? I wanted to play guitar, but then a guy forced me to play bass. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't forced, it was like, we need a bass player. Yeah. I thought, play bass. I think it worked, it turned out well. <laughs> it's better than drum. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, how long have you been, you know, playing guitar all around? Uh, I don't, I don't, I'd say since year six. So about four, four years. Four years. Yeah. 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 Cool. Fantastic. So, now, obviously, I'd, I'd like to hear more how the album came about. Um, guy so you know tell me a little bit more how you know you got this going because you created this room you know and you know you've got um, your own little mixer and your recorder here and um, you've invested into you know obviously producing this and yeah. teaching yourself a lot of things you know so that's unique in itself at your age so tell me you know how that all well, it's for you. Yeah, so in terms of uh, writing the music, some of the riffs I've had since I was 11 or 12, um, and then we put the songs together, um, and then recording. So I did all the guitar tracks, um, I just did them here, uh, and then we went to Taylor's place and we set up some microphones some triggers and stuff and then I did a mix on the mixer and I plugged it into my interface yeah. um, and uh, we just recorded those and then one day Sam came over and he did his bass parts and then I did my vocals last and then yeah I just went through did lots of mixing and yeah had mastering as well we had some listens I sent it to them they all Approved. Yeah. <laughs> it was had enough. Few people. Yeah. 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 Not just us, the others as well. Yeah. yeah. See what they think. Yeah. 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 That's great. Because so, all of you are, you know, obviously very good at, you know, communicating and, mm -hmm. and you know, and at the moment I believe you're, you're playing gigs around Brisbane yeah. as mm -hmm. well. And um, you're getting a really good following on your Spotify app. Mm -hmm. So is it, tell me, you know, is this where the only place you can, you know, obviously buy your music? Um, uh, Spotify is also, buy on CD. Oh, bring your CD out. Yeah, bring your CD out. CD. There we go. You can buy it directly from us. That's at it. At our gigs. Yeah. And where, where's your next gig? Uh, tell us some of the places that you're playing at. So on the 12th of August, we're playing at the Wines here in Victoria Point. Yeah. The 19th hasn't been be announced soon. Probably by the time this comes out, it'll be announced. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, on the 19th, we're playing at the Junk Bar. And uh, the 25th, we're playing at Ahead the Hall. Cool. Yeah. 
and it's just growing all the time because yeah. you're yeah. you're actually being contacted which is fantastic yeah. Yeah. and um and basically you know you're you obviously go back to some of the um arenas that you do and i've got to say also guy you know at the moment there's a bit of a um, amazing thing happening in the Courier Mail um, as oh, you've yeah, been yeah. you know a young influencer yeah. being voted for yeah, as a young influencer yeah. tell us about that so one day I got uh, messaged on Facebook Messenger <laughs> the guy who wrote the article to send me this link I had no idea about it yeah um, but one of the local members Joan she um, nominated me as one of the 35 most influential people under 25 amazing uh, yeah mm. So, and current, and there's a vote, and currently I am winning. So yeah. that's cool. Winning. Oh, yeah. 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 I love yeah. it. Yeah. Winning oh. by like ten percent. The the closest. I'm on twenty five. The closest like fifteen. Wow. Very good. Wow, that's that's very impressive. very <laughs> impressive. It is impressive, and that's really great. You know. Um, not only just exposure for yourself, but you know, obviously for the band and for the, yeah, and for the EP it, and got, everything. Um, yeah, growing. Mm. So, but yeah, there's there's obviously yeah an amazing following for you guy because you last year you were at the Brisbane um, the, Mayor's the Lord Mayor's Christmas Carols, yeah. Carol. Yeah, and you you absolutely smashed it there too. Gave it a a very good loud performance of one of your songs there <laughs> so it was it was um the uh oh, what was it called it was um it's going out of my head now your oh. christmas song your christmas <laughs> song. it's a very well known christmas song carol of the bells That's and we did an ad we did a, a more of a an adaptation of it and it was more it was closer to the original and i came in and did a really big solo excellent so, Excellent, fantastic. All right. Now, and also, I've got to say that you were at your school um, concert with School of Rock, and I believe you—that's one of your influences yeah, that's yeah. got you going. going Is that to right, start Stephen? Guitar, yeah, from yeah. School of Rock. Saw yeah. the movie, and I was like, "That's pretty cool." <laughs> yeah, oh, I like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. And and you were the le- you were yeah, one of the leads. We, we were in it. You yeah. both were in it. Yeah. Oh, how, and I, you know, unfortunately I missed it, but I heard nothing but rave reviews, you know, so that must have been, you know, thrilling to be in something like that. You know, is this something you would like to pursue a little bit more in, you know, being in musicals and, Um, and acting? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Do a little bit. Different way. Yes, just another thing. Yeah. Another one. Well, <laughs> you know, like you're only what fifteen. <laughs> I think you've got lots it's and lots. Of time. It's <laughs> time. <laughs> this is the amazing thing about you guys. You're you're just in your teens. Oh, it's incredible. All right, so I am just I don't know. I'm just so thrilled and and you know over the fact of what you've done. It's you know at your age groups. And, you know, I can only feel and see that there's going to be a lot more and more, you know, what is the future? You know, is there any other plans besides, you know, obviously your EP at the moment? Um, so, these, we are, we do have some bigger plans for either later this year or really early next year yeah. in terms of more music. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, you know, uh, maybe like couple more songs yeah, how much we can say yeah yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know yeah, how much we can say yet no uh, surprises yeah. it's all hush hush yeah it's yeah. a bit it's a bit, a bit secretive at the moment okay we do have some very big plans with multiple maybe uh, maybe some multiple releases yeah. yeah for the next year year or so okay all right so this is all of you know, conspiring at the moment. Yeah, a bit of work oh, in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Young minds are <laughs> plotting in in yeah. this industry. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, with with everyone, you know, obviously in your worlds of who's influenced you, who you know, start with you, Stephen. Who's your, you know, who is well, yeah, like I at said, the top the movie, of your list? School of Rock. I reckon that was probably the biggest that influence, was, yeah. Yeah. That, For guitar, definitely, yeah. That's what got me into it. Okay. Singing the nice 
I guess range of classroom music, but also the rock rock yeah. bands in it and everything. The show. Yeah. And we've got, we've got guys, guys, what Pearl Jam? We got same. We got Alice in Chains. Yeah. Background you can see. Yeah. We all we all really like Silverchair. Yeah. 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 My some of my biggest influences probably like Silverchair, Pearl Jam, uh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Led Zeppelin. Uh, one, yeah. Audio Slave. And Metallica, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. They were massive so, influences for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I can, I can only see that you know there's going to be a lot of lot more. All right, growth and and excitement that's going to happen for yeah. all of you and we're going to finish up today with you guy um giving us a little taste of you know one of your favorite songs that yeah. you'd like to on play on EP, guitar for yeah. us yeah. what's yeah. it called i'll stay i'll stay the third song on the ep I mean, okay you're going to play it acoustically you're gonna play it acoustically. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get. Well, you want to get ready, and we'll just put this on pause, and then we'll come back. Over to you, guy.
thank you.